Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butter Session Account tutorial on how to turn on multiple account sign-on in Gmail. Google is rolling out the ability to be signed into multiple Gmail accounts at one time, so we thought we'd show you how to do it. So go to any Gmail page and make sure you're signed out. Then what you want to do is sign in, and you're going to get this account. Now if you look right down here, multiple sign-in is off. So we're going to change that. So we'll click change. Now they're pointing out here this is an advanced feature and review all the information before you turn it on because there are a few little a few little things you need to know. If you turn it on, use multiple Google accounts in the same web browser. You have to understand that the account you're currently using is displayed at the top up here. So you have to check the box. That you acknowledge not all Google products support multiple sign-in but switching between Google products your account may currently change gotta check that Google products not listed above up here calendar code Gmail reader and sites will default to the first account that you sign into okay and offline mail and offline calendar will be disabled you may lose any unsent mail and you can click here to learn more I just want you to see that if you don't click each box, the save button won't become active. So you have to show that you've acknowledged these four things, and then you say save. So our account information has been updated. Sign out. Sign back in. And now if you look up here, a little arrow, sign into another account. And here it's giving us a little message about the multiple sign-in. So now you see, I can move back and forth between these two accounts. And if I want, I can add another account. But it makes it very easy to go back and forth and not have to sign in and out, in and out. So this is how you can turn on the multiple account sign-in in Gmail. Keep in mind that if you don't see this when you go to look, it just means that it hasn't rolled out to you yet. That's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.